Hello everybody, I'm Zachary.com and this is a proof concept. This is for Sarah Susie's helping me with, um, with the nonsense project on, on the weapon system. Let's run your army, I should press on set. Go computer, okay fine, I'll do it later. <coughs> okay, so, we have Osmond, who's the gun wielder. He's got a cannon right now, keep going. Over left hand corner, we have top bar, which is health bar. So if we get hit, it goes down. We just don't need to know that. On the left, the bottommost bar is my water bar, which wouldn't be nonsense, and it's another thing, it's being low. But in the middle of those two is the weapon bar, which the orange bar on top is the weapon HP bar, which it's nice. 45 and it's up to now. And since this is a weapon that shoots projectiles, when I hit the X button, it goes down because it's ammunition. It gets lower, it gets lower, it gets really well because I don't want it to break. It has a little master process and says it's going to break, which you don't need to do anything as long as you leave it open so I can figure out how to edit. Now there's a repair pattern which restores the weapon HP all the way to full. We have repair patterns which are manual and auto repair patterns which is just in case I screw up. Then under that is the out bar which is the experience for weapons. So I would... Now another proof concept. See in the lower left hand corner there's a thing that looks like a big arm that I'm holding. You can see that view. And it's a speed of it. Every time that goes down or I shoot that'll deplete at least for this one. And when it gets all the way back up to full, I can shoot again. And so with different, with different weapons, I'll just show you a little bit. Because this weapon's really weak. And I'm using it for display purposes, it's going to take a while. See, now it says apps are full. Now I can explain the weapon system that I'm trying to do. This is the normal setup. You have the weapon, its basic stats, which are attack, endurance, speed, MP, which is its weapon MP. P and its max abs, and then its name, and whether it's equipped it or not, and then its element that it uses, which is above the attack. Then you have equipped, customize, attribute, repair, upgrade, and build up. Attribute, you click on it, and it goes to the attributes. Now I would have six, which would be alpha, beta, magna, sigma, uh, Omega and Gamma for Dark, which this one doesn't have Dark, but it's the same proof of concept, it's just what they're called. Um, which you can switch elements, and that only uses that element. Different monsters are weak to different elements, Undead usually to Holy, or in my case in Nonsense would be Omega. It's water tends to be weak to Electric using the Pokemon concept thing. Yeah. Then we go to the customize menu, which is what I was showing before. Uh, ignore what the max everything was before, or what it was set at before. Okay, so the basic weapon is 34, 50, 60, 10. Okay. Then you have different attachments that do different things. We have stuff attachments to uh, upgrade the basic. So you have attack plus three which makes attack go up by three. Thirty-four thirty-seven. Attack plus two plus two. Attack plus one plus one. Endurance plus one. Endurance plus one. Speed plus two, speed plus two, speed plus one, speed plus one, there's speed plus three, there's endurance plus three, there's MP plus three. It's just that. Then you have elemental attachments, which put fire, it, fire goes up by three. Excuse me. You have anti attachments, which has all the anti elements. I take the undead. The undead, which is the second one on the left, goes up by three. Because speed and attack. Okay, keep those numbers in mind. Actually, I'm going to do electricity because most of the monsters here are weak to electricity. So, thunder, eight. These. 37, 50, 50. 62, 10. These. 0, except for undead, which is 3. And then you have the repair option, just to repair any damage. Equipped, which will equip it. And build up. Which, I can build it up into two things. I'm going to probably go with the first one. And see, that shows the basic stats, but this is to 
build up into a new weapon. If I get to a certain stat, then it can happen, which is why you kind of need it open, because I don't know what the different weapons are, but I will eventually. So I can edit it. So I need those to upgrade. That's why it has the red numbers. These are fine. These are fine. Okay, and I have abs are full, so I can upgrade it. So when I upgrade it, keep note of the basic stats. 37, 50, 62, 10. Upgrade it. Those attachments go into the weapon. The basic stats go up by one, so... Plus the, uh the attachment boost so we get a plus one on everything so endurance is plus one MP is plus one speed was plus three because you got the plus two from the attachment plus the one from the um, level up now the other ones didn't go up that way these are still five that's still eight plus because of the attachment these are still zero, that's plus three because of the attachment. And the attachment slots are now empty, so I can put new attachments. So that's now 40. Okie dokie. And then the weapon, when it upgrades, has the weapon plus one to tell you how much goes up. Now we can go into what maxes are. Some weapons have max whatever. So this one has a max attack of 55. This one has a max speed of 99, which is the max speed. MP is 25. Okay. These tend not to have maxes except for at 99, which is the max. Same thing as speed. And endurance. Endurance max is always 99. And its abs are full, and I'm trying to build up to not that, to this. Okie dokie. I'll show you how different weapons vary with uh, the speed bar. Ninja Crystal helps me out to find a monster. So this is a machine gun. So. See, I can stop it. Its ammo is still the weapon HP bar, but the speed is stopped until I press it all the way to the end, which then I have to wait for it to refill, and then I can fire again. Just like the... Ah, oh, I hate Crescent Barons. Proof of concept. Um, I won't show you building up, because that's going to take a while, because I don't have any Mimic, but it would upgrade to a new weapon. I wish I had that, kind of. See, same thing, I have Rock and then Endurance. Endurance is going to be the only one that gets the plus one, plus the attachment, because the other ones are at its max. See, now it's 87. And the Rock are gone. And rocks what I need it, but I don't have mimic. And I can't buy mimics. So yeah, I'll show different weapons to have it. So you can go with a combo. Combo So you can only do half a combo and the speed bar is half. If it's full then I can do a full combo. Notice with swords and weapons that don't fire projectiles, the weapon HP bar doesn't go down as long if I do this. Now if I hit a enemy, depending on the enemy's wear stat, which is an invisible stat you won't ever be able to see, it'll go down accordingly. Accordingly. Anyway. Um, different weapons. Slingshot, which won't be in it. Fires projectile. Axe hammer. One full speed bar before I can attack again. One movement. Magic ring. Same thing with speed bar. I can charge it. Projectile. Spear. 
multiple combos able to go with the speed bar. Same thing with the takes damage, and then Osmond, which you saw. If there's any further questions, I can put a follow-up thing. Otherwise, I think I covered a lot of it. So, I'm um, Zachary Chokum. Subscribe, hit the big yellow button over there, or Osman will hunt you down and kill you. Like that. Otherwise, have a good day.